Hello and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Well, today we continue our journey through the Gospel of Matthew. We are still in chapter 7, and we're going to look at verse 21. So in the previous few passages, Jesus is talking about false prophets, false teachers who are proclaiming Jesus. They may be doing things in his name, but today, today we read that not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. So let's go ahead and get to it. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. So not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, let's face it, there are those out there who say that they profess Jesus. They say that they are Christians. But where's the evidence? Like Jesus said in the previous couple passages, where is the fruit? He said, you will know them by their fruit. This reminds me of another New Testament story in the book of Acts, in uh, Acts chapter 8. There was, a, there was a man by the name of Simon Magus, or Simon the Magician, as some translations call him. He said that he was a Christian. He was doing miraculous things. But then he goes up to Peter and says, I want to buy what you have. That's where the term simony comes from. Buying a church office, etc. So he professed to be a Christian, but he was doing all these things to point to himself, not to point to Christ. So is that something that we're doing? I mean, just as a question to think about, is that something that we're doing? Are we saying, here, Jesus, this? You know, are we saying, yeah, I'm a Christian, but um, whenever we do something good, we're trying to point attention to ourselves and draw attention to ourselves instead of where it needs to be. So I think that's important. So... And doubling the name, when Jesus says, Lord, Lord, this is a feeling of intimacy here. And we see this repeated. It's an address of, uh, it's an address of intimacy. We see it in Genesis 22, 11, 1 Samuel 3, 10, and 2 Samuel 18, 33, and Luke twenty two thirty one. 31. Now, it's not claims or feelings of intimacy with Jesus that matter. Nor, it's not performing mirac- miracles in Jesus' name. Jude, even Judas did that in Matthew 10, 1 through 4. What matters is, is a sincere obedience to the Father's will, and that's what Jesus is saying. This obedience flows from faith. And this intimacy with the Father is knowing God and being known by God. And also, just to kind of do to modern terms, let's think of an athlete for a second. person says that he's so great, he's so great, he's the greatest basketball player that ever lived. But he doesn't have the skills. Not everyone who talks about heaven belongs to God's kingdom. Guys, Jesus is more concerned with our walk than with our talk. He's more concerned with our walk than our talk. Pretty much he's saying, show me. He wants us to do what's right and not just say the right words. He wants us to live the life. He wants all of us, not just our minds. He wants our actions. What we do cannot be separated from what we believe. Thank you, thank you so much for listening and joining me on the Daily Bible Podcast. And if you have questions on the faith, questions on a particular Bible verse we've gone over, please email me at hopewithin18 at gmail.com. And as always, if you enjoy the show, please rate it and please share it. And I thank you so much for joining me each and every day as we journey, as we journey verse by verse through Scripture. God bless you guys. Have a great day.